you could move anywhere in the world, where would it be? Uh, Kauai, Hawaii. I knew that. Uh, New Zealand. Okay. Why's that? Been there before, Loved and it's it. amazing. Right. You can forget social media. One of the hardest things about having a large audience that looks up to you guys. Mm, they have an opinion about everything, even though if it's good or bad. They just like, whatever you post, it's just like somebody has to say something about it. Yeah. Sometimes that's annoying. That's yeah, annoying. the larger the audience, the more you have to censor yourself. Right. Definitely. Great. Prank ideas to do on my brother from a fan. <coughs> oh. Uh, Let's say this kid's 12. 12. He's, oh, God. Take all of his underwear, put it in water, and then put it in the freezer before school. Or like before though. picture day. Before picture day? <laughs> <laughs> I would yeah. say shave his beard, but he probably doesn't have one. So, <laughs> shave his head. <laughs> Jeez, that's um, hard. <laughs> favorite YouTuber you guys have collabed with? Uh, Jake Weber. Um, I mean, a lot of people know this already, but I was actually uh, not like a fanboy, but I like watched JC and like Kian mm -hmm. like a long time ago, so probably them. Yep. Yeah, they're super cool. And did you play it cool when you met? Were you like, what up? No, that's really awkward. Yeah, I, I was more just like, oh, can I get a picture? Yeah, no, he actually kidding. like jumped on Kian's back and like rode him around. Like, <laughs> yeah, just like that. It's okay. <laughs> What's your favorite high school memory together? Oh, God, dude, we've done so much. Uh, there's so much. I'll say mine and then can he say his? Sure. Can this be a long one? Mine is okay. So, we right before we moved out to LA, we had this Kansas meet and greet mm -hmm. um, where we literally like rented out like this giant museum for like an event space and it was a huge ordeal. We did it to like uh, get some money so we could like actually move. Mm -hmm. um, but, anyways, all of like our peers and stuff like made fun of us for it. And so, to like get back at them, we just pr printed out these flyers that were like. Sam and Colby meet and greet. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Like, this is like when it is, and we just hung them up around the entire school and uh, got called into the principal's office. <laughs> that was pretty good. And it was, it was funny. Damn, dude. I can't believe you guys have been known as that long. Actually, I have a question for you as well. So, you guys said you met in band camp, right? Yeah. What instruments did you guys play? I meant to ask that last time we <laughs> interviewed. Uh, saxophone. Right? And I played uh, clarinet. I marched it and then I played tenor saxophone in the okay. actual band. Yeah. All right. Good to know. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being social media influencers? Oh, man. That's a good question. Advantages, well, the well amount done, of people uh, you can reach. Really I love that. Brock, good question. Um, another advantage is, I don't know, I feel like when you, when you have a following, um, like just most things are easier as bad as that sounds like like if you're trying to get like an acting role like that's easier if you're trying to like get like brands or any companies to notice you that's easier because you have a following so it's yep. like you're more on the radar but like the disadvantages to it is like you get a ton of hate every single day and nobody really like knows how to handle that and um you definitely grow up faster you, you get forced into business you get forced into like making decisions like mm -hmm. most people don't have to do yeah. but i say like the biggest advantage you can like actually make an influence or an impact on people because people care what you have to say true yeah best place you guys have explored so far oh god best place i always go back to this i think my favorite video ever is six flags six flags there's a band of six flags in new orleans and it is amazing we really? stood on top of the tallest roller coaster and could see out everything and like almost everything is still there so it's amazing. wow and this is and it's abandoned <coughs> yeah. there was like a flood like a long, long time ago, and they just like kept it. It's like sick, and we didn't get in trouble. <laughs> so that's, that's yeah. We did we get didn't caught. get major repercussions. Uh, embarrassing high school memories. Oh God, every every one. <laughs> um, every single day. God, I oh, know. I was super. I don't know. It was in Kansas. It's so different because like everybody just wore the same thing every single day. There was no like style sense. And if you, like we wore like joggers. Even if we were joggers, people would like laugh at us. Right, yeah, so I know that's not really an embarrassing thing, but I'm just saying like it was yeah. so different. Oh shoot, embarrassing wise. I'm sure there's been times where I like tried to talk to a girl and then like she just completely rejects me. That's yeah. embarrassing. We got, we got called out in front of a school. Of, oh wait. Oh no, yes, this. okay, we, this is it. <laughs> this one. There's two. One that happened to both of us, we got called out in a school assembly for our vine being like a bad thing and then everyone like booed us. And then two, there was this one uh, teacher that did an entire assembly 30 minute comedy piece on making fun of my personal Instagram mm -hmm. account 
Trump. While he was sitting in the audience. I was sitting there. I was a student. I had him as a teacher. And he, like, went up and, like, looked at my Instagram, put it on a big, like, giant projector, and just made fun of it for, for 30 minutes. For, and for what reasoning? Like, how did yeah, he... Yeah, what was the reason? Like, it was, like, a, it was like a comedy-based, like, assembly. So, like, five people came up for 30 minutes, had a shtick, and wow. his shtick was making fun of me. Wow. It was like, okay, cool. Thanks. That's great. <laughs> that is Love rough. Blue Valley. But, like, we didn't, we didn't <laughs> care. Like, at, yeah. at the same time, like... Sam and I would always walk around the hallways together at all times and like laugh at people. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like anybody that was trying to like make fun of us, we were just like. It's not like we cared, yeah, but like if I had to point out a certain thing, yeah, I was like, like, that that's was like, about like a... wow, why, yeah. did you, why did you do that type <laughs> thing? How do you feel about fans that find out where you live? It's creepy. Yeah. It's really creepy. It's not well, it's not funny. It's not cool. There's also a difference between someone like just finding out where you live or like like one time ever like sending you like a whatever like letter like that's still like kind of an invasion of privacy but then there's also people that will come up to our doors with vlog cameras and like ring our doorbell until we answer yeah or like yeah. camp out overnight in our driveway or like mark and like kiss and put lipstick on our cars and it's like why yeah. why, yeah. why don't do that this yeah. looks weird and i think last time we spoke you were saying that it's like it's not just young people you've so you've got like yeah like you know, even like old men like late will, like, 20s comment. 30s like, early 40s like yep. and you actually told me the story last time we spoke as well about you i think you said it was big time like coming out of your hotel room and there was girls just camped out yeah, yeah. like in sleeping bags basically yeah that's a little terrifying. more understandable. They're at an event for it, yeah, but like that, coming that coming exactly. to our house is a different story. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Next one. What's one thing about LA that you didn't expect before moving there? Um, oh God. I don't know. Out there than you expected. No, we like moved in within forty-eight hours, and we were fine. Yeah. That's yeah. a that that thing. That That's we didn't result. expect. I mean, we, we even kind of knew like people were fake. Like we, we heard about it even before we moved there. So oh, do, like, do, you, do you believe that? Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Right, There's right. so many people that are, like you'll see at a party and be like, yo, what's up, man? And then they're like, let's hang out soon. You, you never don't hear from, from them ever, like ever again. Yeah. As for something I didn't expect, I would say like it's so small. Mm -hmm. You know, like in each industry, you will see the same 50 people everywhere. Yeah. Like even at Coachella, like we will run into everybody that we, like, know. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I, oh, yeah, here's a good one. Everybody, like, all the girls, like, on social media especially are, like, high school, where they're just, like, if you don't fit into a certain clique. Like, social media is very clicky. Yeah, very. And, like, like there's, the like, the cool kids or, like, the like the cool girls or whatever like that, cool guys that hang out with the cool girls, but then there's, like, people like us who just do our own thing or go to weekend two. Like, everybody goes to weekend one, Coachella. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, represent, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just so clicky out here, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, I t totally agree. I mean, I've also spoken to people as well, like, uh, who are YouTubers and influencers that said they had a really tough time, like, navigating who was actually trying to be their friend for the right reasons and not mm. because they wanted to be around them, around someone who had a lot of followers or that yeah. type of thing. I know? mean, I think that's going to be no matter what. Yeah. Like, L.A. or not L.A., if you have followers, that's something you're going to have to worry about. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you guys seem like you have a good group of, group of mates. Like, yeah, yeah. It doesn't seem like it's something you probably have to worry about, huh? Yeah, yeah. thank much. God, yeah. yeah. As much, yeah. Yeah, definitely. for sure. Any YouTubers you want you really want to collaborate with in the future? Collaborate with? See, that's another thing, too, is we kind of, like... We do something different. We do our own thing that a lot of YouTubers don't, like... Yeah. Or don't or like are afraid to do like we do a bunch of paranormal stuff, which is like, like he and JC. I would have said them if we didn't collab with them already, but yeah, like the people that we wanted to collab with, we kind of do. Like one of our biggest inspirations for exploring videos was the account Exploring with Josh. Yep. And we've done like a bunch of videos with him. And he yeah. Was super cool. And all of our close friends that we knew before we started YouTube, we've all like grown up with them. So it's been really cool actually. Yep. Yeah. We're pretty fortunate in the amount of that, collaborations yeah. we've done. Yeah. Yeah, you guys sort of pop up everywhere. But what was the hardest thing about Sam and Colby 2.0? Well, we and didn't we, know what we were going to do mm -hmm. after, you know, we got arrested and everything. Like, we had to switch up our entire content. So it was just like every single week we had to figure out a new video mm -hmm. and like how to make it better, make it like more exciting. And that was within five days because yeah. you post on the weekends. So. We, we, we didn't have much time to prep, so we didn't really have much time to like take precautions or think about, you know, consequences afterwards. Sure. So it's kind of like 
do whatever we possibly can to get the view. And it also probably, I'm assuming it would have meant that you weren't able to sort of bulk shoot either. Right, right. 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 No, so I don't that. think we bulk shooted a single week. Like every week that it was posted, we had filmed it within three days. Yeah. Wow. So. so, yeah, you were saying last time you were able to sort of go to Florida, get, like, weeks' worth of content, yeah. just focus on your own stuff, and now it's, like, keeping you on your toes. It was much, much more difficult to yeah. make that transition. Makes sense. All right, last one. Colby, where do you buy your rings? I've been looking for so long. Hey. Oh, God. <laughs> Put me on the spot a little bit, but, um... Oh, God. Uh, this you is don't just a, say? You don't well, I, no, I, I do. It's just, like, it just sounds like a lot more bougie than I actually like, like to come They're across. They're all Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. Walmart, okay, so Gucci, Gucci, this is from Melrose, and then this is Cartier. Right. So, like, so Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. Get everything from Walmart. <laughs> I own Walmart. All right, guys, that's it. That was a ton of questions. Great answers. Yeah, Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so appreciate much. Yeah, I appreciate it. it. All right, guys, you've been hanging out with us. I don't even know what camera I'm looking at, but we're out here in the desert. We just did a little Q&A. I hope you guys loved it. Hopefully, we answered your question. If we did answer your question, let us know in the comment section below, and we'll catch you next time. Peace. Adios. If you like what you saw, make sure you check out some of our other videos right here and also be sure to subscribe to our channel right here for new videos coming out every week.